Today, I bring you the definitive application to install Stable Diffusion on our computer. With Stable Diffusion, we can generate spectacular images with artificial intelligence, free of charge and without limits from our PC, better than Midjourney or Dolly. Now I show you where to download all the necessary files, which you have below in the description of this video. You just have to pay attention and follow step by step what is shown on the screen. And then I show you, also step by step, how to install it. The one for Python. We go down to the end of the web and download this link. The following link is the one for Git. Here we will give this second link and download it. In the following link we go to the code button and select the option to download the zip. Now we download the model 1.4. For this we will have to register here, but do not worry because it is totally free. A normal registration with email and password. When we are already registered, we will see two versions. I recommend the second, since it is more complete. In the following GitHub link, we are going to download the 1.3 model. And we will also download the 1.4. And finally, we will download the notepad. This or the latest version they have published when you see this video. Now we are going to install. But first of all, I recommend that you subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell so you don't miss any video on image generation with artificial intelligence. I recommend downloading all the materials first and we will choose the folder where to install it. For example, in the Documents folder. The first thing we will do is install Python. Now we're going to go to this zip file, right-click and select Extract All. I have unzipped this in the folder where I wanted to install Stable Diffusion. Here we can see all the unzipped files. Now I will take these two files in PTH format. I will drag these to the folder where we have the rest of the files. Now I'll go to the CKPT format file and rename it to model. and I'm going to move this to our folder. Now we are going to install the Git application. A normal installation where you just have to click next until you reach the end. The next thing we will install is Notepad. An equally simple installation. Now it's going to open this window here. We will then go to the folder where we have all the stable diffusion files. We will down here to this file in BAT format. Not this other one in shell script format. Here in Properties we can see the format of each one. We open the one with BAT format. Select the More Information option and now click on the Run button.
If after a while this message appears that there has been an installation failure, we will do this. We will go to the same file, we will click with the right button, and in the menu we will select the option Edit with Notepad. On our computer we are going to look for Python, which we have installed a moment ago. Here with the right button we can open the location of the file. We will do the same here to access the directory where it is installed. We right-click and select the option to copy as path. Now in Notepad in the first option of Set Python we are going to paste the directory where we have it installed. The shorthand command to paste is Ctrl V, click Save, and again we're going to open the same setup file. This time it should not give any error and we just have to let it install. You have to be patient because it lasts a long time without showing signs of progress. Finally, it will show us something like this, so we can start working with stable diffusion on our computer. This is the address that we have to copy to make it work on our computer. We just have to open our internet browser and paste this code in the address bar. Now you are ready to start using it. Here, as in mid-journey or with Dolly, we just have to put a textural description of what we want it to generate for us. And here below we have a lot of options to customize it. For example, in these dials the size of the image. We can also put the negative terms, which are those that we want to exclude from the image. This would be the number of images that we want you to propose. And there are many other options, both here and in the different tabs, but that is already the subject of another tutorial. This is simply for download and installation, but if you want me to do a specific tutorial on its use, you can tell me below in the comments. Here it has generated these six images with this motif and this style, and I think this is the one I like the most. And then from this image we can generate alternatives with similar characteristics. We can adjust the level of similarity here, but we'll talk about all this another time. Here I show you some images that I have generated in a moment. Although installing Stable Diffusion requires a powerful computer, it allows us to generate as many free images as we want with extraordinary quality. If you liked the video and it was useful, you can leave me a like, a comment below, and share the video with anyone who might be interested. Greetings and see you in the next video.